Hi there, I'm Black Bright News. Um, welcome to my channel. First time passing through, you're welcome to subscribe, like, share. Um, I tend to talk about any topic and sometimes I think, why should I talk about this topic? It's got nothing to do with me. It's got nothing to do with the UK. It's got nothing to do with China, um, with Jamaica. It's got nothing to do with the United States. My three main places of interest. So I'm going to talk about the Chinese uh, coronavirus and I'm talking about that because I was listening to teach them this afternoon and I, you know sometimes when we think people are far away from us or whatever's happening is far away from us we we take our eye off the ball we think oh well it's all the way in China let's not worry about it let them die of the disease or whatever but we forget that we have a large Chinese population. In the UK, uh, it's 440,000, 180,000 Chinese students. In America, I forget how much they've got in America. I know they've got a hell of a lot in America. And then in Jamaica, you look at the Chinese population there. So you're thinking to yourself, okay, we've got these Chinese population in Jamaica. We've got all these students here in the UK, masses of them. And in America, we've got, um, I think America's got the highest rate of um, Chinese students. So what? But Chinese New Year is on Sunday. Oh, a lot of these Chinese people are going to want to go back to China for their New Year. Now, I wouldn't have thought about that. Like I said, I was listening to teach them. And, you know, it's so important to spread this information around. So that's what I'm doing. So we've got the Chinese New Year on Sunday. A lot of Chinese people would want to be going back to China to with the celebrations. And what will happen when they come back? Now, you've got Heathrow. They're screening off Terminal 4 so that it's designated and they've got all of this gear on. I mean, they look like somebody out of space. Everybody's going to be screened, those going out, those coming in. But all you have to do is have latent symptoms, symptoms that haven't come up yet, and they're in. Because they're looking for people, they're taking their temperature, they're taking, um, seeing if they've got any flu symptoms, because apparently this coronavirus is a bit like the flu. And that's what they're doing. But with most infections like this, they're dormant for the first... They're, when they're most um, infectious, it's usually the first two days, and they don't show any signs. So, and at first they're saying it wasn't human-to-human -human virus. You know, you couldn't catch it human-to-human. -human. Now they've realised that with 16 health visitors down, or health professionals down, who caught it from treating patients, it is going from human-to-human. So we mustn't become complacent. Don't think because it's all the way over there, we don't have to worry about it. Because when they come back in, you do not know who they're going to be interacting with, whether or not they're carrying the virus. And it must be awful to be treated as though you've got the plague. But that is how they're being treated. People are talking about the SARS virus, which I think 8,000 people, it affected 8,000 people in 2002 to 2003 you know don't want a repeat of that and then you know i'm hearing all different types of figures one minute is quite low the next minute actually on one source it said an estimated 4,000 cases of the virus since the outbreak began 440 confirmed cases you're going to get pneumonia type symptoms There's 544,000 students who are studying in different parts of the world. So wherever these Chinese students are, if they want to go back to China for Chinese New Year, and then they're going to go back to where they, where they reside as students, can easily bring it, can easily carry it. Um... Yeah, and so we have 400,000 Chinese immigrants in the UK, apparently, over 140,000 students. Um, 
it's already started spreading. They reckon the source is animals. Um, but then, um, they all say it's animals, don't they? Anytime there's, I, I, I guess that's a cop out. How do we know it's not germ warfare? How do we know that somebody's deliberately put toxins into the air? Especially in China with all this, um, with all that war, you know, that, what do you call that? Oh, protesting going on and it being overpopulated. How do we know what's going on? We don't know. Apparently in World War Two. 500 million died of infectious diseases due to the deliberate release of pathogens or toxins, mostly according to sources by the Japanese during their attack on China. How do we know this is not a germ warfare situation? We don't know. And if it is, there's nothing we can do about it. Once that spreads in the air, they're going to blame it on Chinese coming in or Chinese going out or whatever. We don't know. Maybe it sounds a bit dramatic, but we don't know, do we? We know that they made a hash and they made some bad decisions. How do we know how they propose to deal with it? We don't. So the SARS virus, which stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, that was 2002 to 2003. During the period of infection, there was 8,098 reported cases and 774 deaths. The UK is currently monitoring flights from China as a precautionary measure. The flights will be met in an isolated part of Terminal 4. Chinese authorities have been advised to stop people from traveling in and out of Wuhan, which is the city at the heart of the out outbreak. So China has confirmed the first examples of the deadly Wuhan coronavirus spreading from human to human with medical workers currently among the infected. Early on Tuesday, officials confirmed a fourth death linked to the virus with more than 200 cases of the disease confirmed so far and instances reported in Japan, Thailand and South Korea. So I don't know if... Um, some of it is more recent. What are we now? Thursday. This is probably more accurate, you know. The 200,000. I don't know where that 4,000 comes from. You know, people love to exaggerate. Create, you know, create a lot of hype. Um, it's believed to have originated in a seafood market in Wuhan, central China. The illness potentially marks the seventh coronavirus known to science that can infect humans a grouping that includes SARS and MERS. The head of the Chinese government expert team, Zong Nashan, said two people in Guangdong province in southern China caught the disease from family members, according to a state-controlled English-language newspaper, China Daily. Uh, medical staff transferred patients to Yin, Yin Yin Tan Hospital. I don't know how to pronounce that. The National Health Commission Task Force also found that some medical workers have tested positive for the virus, with one reportedly in critical condition. Concern over further spread of the virus has led to stringent checks at airports, with medical officials seen in hazmat suits boarding airplanes due to leave Wuhan to test for the illness, and US airports screening travellers arriving in the city. That must be so stressful. Meanwhile, the outbreak has continued on to more cities within China, China's borders, including Shanghai and Beijing. Ahead of the announcement, President Xi Jinping said that it's extremely crucial to take every possible me measure to combat the illness. So you know a lot of people are going to be in isolation. The recent outbreak of novel coronavirus pneumonia in Wuhan and other places must be taken seriously, Mr. Xi said according to national broadcaster CCTV. What are the symptoms of the new Chinese virus and where has it spread? Officials have so far confirmed 217 cases of the virus as of Monday morning, with state TV claiming 198 of those were in Wuhan. However, report, a report by London Imperial 
Imperial College's MRC Center for Global Infectious Disease Analysis estimated that as of 12th of January, there were likely 1,723 cases in Wuhan city with related symptoms. So, so many, so many, what a wide variation of information. All we need to know, forget about the numbers, we need to know that something is going down, this coronavirus is spreading, and we don't know how far it's going to go. It depends on who's got it, who they allow in, whether or not it, it, it sneaks in, sneaks past um, security and those people in those suits. Chinese health authorities have not commented directly on the report. Jeremy Farrar, a specialist in infectious disease epidemics and director of the Wellcome Trust Global Health Charity, said this outbreak is extremely concerning. Uncertainty and gaps remain, but it is now clear that there is a person-to-person -person transmission. He added Wuhan is a major hub and with travel being a huge part of the fast approaching Chinese New Year, the concern level must remain high. There is more to come from this outbreak. So like I said, we can't be complacent. And I can imagine people kind of looking at Chinese kind of sceptical. That's a thing though, that's a bad thing. You know, it's just like with anything, when people hear these things, it just causes so much animosity and people get paranoid and all sorts. So the Chinese are in for a hard time. They are going to be isolated. They are going to be scrutinized. They are, they are, you know, the authorities are going to be extra vigilant um, in tackling this. But like I said, you know, nobody knows where it came from, allegedly from seafood. We don't know if it's not germ warfare. We've heard about germ warfare. They use it all the time. And they've been using it for centuries. So what do we know? Let's hope it's not, but just have to be careful. Okay, and that's all for now. Bye-bye.